Uh, I want to confirm that indeed the incident happened. The speaker pronounces that we were suspended for two months. But uh, I want to put it clear for the benefit of doubt. Because these, these same, same people who send us out, out of the assembly, they have been selling a narrative to the public that we normally make noise outside, we don't go to speak to the assembly. So this was a, a confirmation that indeed we normally represent our people in the assembly and these people have been denying us the opportunity to speak. On that date, Honorable Lima rose on a, a point of order. And Mr. Likowa and the leadership of this uh, uh, county were aware that we requested some document from the control of budget and they were aware that these informations were already given out and we had them. So on that day, we were targeted and they didn't want us to speak. That is why when Olima rose on a point of order, when he started mentioning the e e key issues pertaining to the documents we acquired, the speaker decided to stop him and procedurally. One of the honorable members in the house by the name Graham also stood on a point of order and asked the speaker that the allegations that have has been brought forth by one honorable Lima Obonyo in this house are weighty allegations that needs time for substantiation. Then speaker in his own wisdom decided to give back the microphone to Honorable Lima to substantiate. When Olima started mentioning word by word, issue by issue, event by event, looting by looting, he stopped him. Then I stood on a point of order, but he denied me an opportunity. I didn't sit down, I proceeded. Because as elected leaders, this is the only place where we are supposed to represent our people and this is the only place we can air our voices. So I said it at it was, and Likowa ordered the sergeant Satam also to throw me out after Lima. The county assembly has been stealing public funds. And we have information, we have record, we are going to provide the media house with all this information. The purported event that Mr. Likowa has been drawing funds under those names activities, we want to confirm to the public that they are ghosts, they are non-existent. No MCA was taken to Nakuru. They withdrew over five million with his team. They know where they took that money. I want to tell the leadership of Migori County Assembly that we are not going to relent. Sending us out of assembly is not going to stop anything. We are going to make sure that the ESCC and all relevant government agencies are going to come after Likowa and his cohorts. We are not going to leave him. He must pay back all the government money or public fund he has eaten. So, as usual, when you are starting a new year, you, the assembly is supposed to do uh, a calendar, which is supposed to run for 12 of months. When that calendar was brought to the assembly, it was unfortunate that we realized that each and every month we were having a recess. So I stood to debate on that motion. And I didn't see the sense of having such many recesses. And if you look at even our past performance, I said during my contribution that we do not need these many recesses because we've not even passed serious bills in this assembly. And therefore, there's no need for us to have a break because we have quite a lot on our desk that we need to do as, uh, 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 as, as MCAs. I think this, to me, appeared or appears like the assembly, since that they have said that they don't have money, they have stolen all the monies to facilitate committees. They are trying to bring so many recesses so that they can be able to balance what they have stolen with recesses. When I stood up like that and I said, 
there's no serious bill. It's unfortunate that one of the choir uh, members rose on a point of order uh, asking why, Honorable Graham uh, rose on a point of order asking why I said that we have not passed serious bills and we have passed uh, finance bill, we have passed opposition bills. And I responded, these are automatic bills. These are, these are the, these ones we must pass every year. Whenever you have a budget or a supplementary budget to pass, you must pass finance bill, you must pass appropriation bill. And I said that these are not serious bills that we can talk about. In the first case, the appropriation bill that we are talking about is the bill that has given us problems. Because this is a bill which we passed illegally. Because we passed a bill supporting budget that had irrational uh, transfer of funds from development to recurrent. And in fact, we did a letter to COB and they responded acknowledging that there was indeed irrational movement of funds from development to recurrent. So I think that therefore did not go on well with the speaker because he knew what was in the document that we wanted to present to the House. And I can tell you without any fear that what we wanted to give to the House, which the speaker in his little wisdom uh, decided to send us away for two months, was because of one. If you look at the analysis we did from the, uh, the documents we were given by COB indicates very clearly how one honorable Charles Oweno has been stealing money from the assembly. Because on uh, 12th of October 2022, the same speaker and his staff, four of them, one called Obonyo, one called Tom Boya, one called Odida, were in Mombasa in speaker's meeting. At the same time, on that very same 12th of October, the same speaker, the same staff were in Kisumu in uh, uh, what we call a uh, uh, budget committee. And all of them were paid per diem. That is contrary to the provisions of PFM Act. You cannot draw per diem for uh, one day because of two activities. The same, same liquor were the staff on the 24th and 25th said that they were in Nakuru for induction, an event that never took place. And I'm, I'm MCA representing North Kadem. I was never in Nakuru attending any induction on that same date. Oweno Lekowa's name is there and his four staff. At the same time, he was in Kisumu on appointment. On the 27th and 28th, he appeared again in Kisumu on two committees and he drew Padiem allowances. These are events that were never there. And he knew we were going to talk about it. So for him, I think he decided therefore to send us away because he knew that. And you know, in every institution, and I'll begin with the smallest institution in the world, which is the family. And even in a family, there are norms and rules. And the family is bound to follow those norms and rules. Equally in the assembly, we have norms and rules that we are supposed to adhere to while inside the assembly, while in the plenary or whichever the case in the assembly. <clears throat> now, in the assembly, we are guided with, by what we call standing orders. And they are very clear on procedures and rules in the house. So, if somebody comes to say they were taken out or sent away and procedurally, I don't know what they mean. Because one of the standing orders says that if you want to discuss a person or a personality in the assembly, within the assembly, and in the ordinary course of business, that is when you are in the house discussing whatever is supposed to discuss, debate. You are supposed to seek that debate. And if you are digressing, it's something you digress alongside what is on the table, the, 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 the order paper. If you go beyond that, you will be told you are disorderly. Now, in this particular situation, the two gentlemen were out of order because they stood up it's, the rules say when the, the speaker is on his feet, you sit down. I don't know whether you are aware. And if the speaker is on his feet and you still don't sit down, 
he start as howling abuses at the speaker. Is that is that not unprocedural? And they are standing on their chairs shouting at the loudest of their voices within the prince of the assembly. If you are the one sitting on that chair, what would you do? So I took that those that disciplinary action because of their own deeds, which they know were wrong, but they still made a lot of noise that the assembly was unable to continue with its proceedings. And that's why I sent them out. I could even have sent them out for six months without salary. But I was lenient. I sent them to two, two months with salary. My brother, uh, they have, they have, they have, my, the, the assembly is not a uh, uh, court of uh, laws. If there is anything like that, there are institutions that deal with that. Why they don't present it to those institutions? The institution will take care and take care of, and take up the matter and get us to know what is happening. I mean, in the assembly, we have no tools to know what has happened and what has not happened, rightly or wrongly. So it was a wrong place to bring that uh, whatever intention. If they knew there was something wrong, the, the ACC is there. They can they can institute an, investi an investigation and find out what is going on, whether it is right or wrong. They will, will they'll come up with an answer. But so far, whatever they were bringing to the house was an allegation, and allegations we don't discuss. Social media we don't discuss in the assembly, or even print media. Whatever you said there, we cannot bring it into the assembly and start talking about it. So those those gentlemen know very well that uh, if there was anything that uh, the speaker had done with the members of the assembly that was wrong, and it, 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 it was abounding on, on the stealing of monies, they know where to go. The, 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 the AICC is a body given that duty, jurisdiction. So the assembly is not. So that's why I sent them out. They were out of order. When, when we send you out, we say you are out of order. And they knew they were out of order. In a dying horse, catches anything and kicks at anything. So the, the executive brings some orders or requests for us to discuss and pass. And they are the ones who debate it. I don't debate. If it is brought by the executive to be debated and passed, and uh, we, we send it back having been passed, it is not me. Me, I'm at the chair guiding them to talk about whatever the executive has brought. It is they who pass those motions, not me. So how, how does the executive uh, become, what, what, what did you call it? A rubber, how does the, the assembly become a rubber stamp? If they, even themselves, who are out there, are participating in the debates that uh, we take back to the government to approve. I mean, after, after we approve to, 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 to execute. So, in your own thinking, my brother, what do you think? 